Go ahead and open Excel Module 2 Autofill Flash Fill Practice. Enable the editing. This one is basically working with Flash Fill. And I have instructions on this one um, in yellow at the top of the screen. So fill 1 through 10. So in the active cell, go ahead and use your fill handle. You're going to get repeats of all one. Click the autofill options and instead of copy, choose fill series. So it's 1 through 10. This one I want it to increase by 2. So the next one should be 6.5, 8.5. So for Excel to understand the pattern, select both of them. Then use your fill handle. And the next uh, names, I want them repeated. So select all three and then fill handle. I want this to go on every half hour. So select both so it understands the pattern. And this one, I just want to go down one more. Um, I want to go ahead and fill it. When I choose um, the fill handle, I'm going to get January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd, and so forth. But what I really want is January 1st, February 1st, March 1st. So click the autofill options and choose fill months. So it should go all the way to October. This one, go ahead and fill handle. You will get all the days of the week, including Saturday and Sunday, unless you choose weekdays. And then this is quarterly, so it should be September, December, and continue. And this one, if we use our flash fill, it'll be all 2012, unless you choose fill series. Okay, full name. Go ahead and this one's just the date, so go ahead and drag that down. It can stay all of January, which is fine. So this one, what you want to do is in three separate columns is first name, middle name, and last name. So in E2, you're going to type Michael, make sure you spell it right, A-E-L, Williams, Henley, and then enter. Once I start the very first letter of the next person, I'm done. And it knows when someone has a middle initial or no middle name, and it puts it in perfectly for you. Next one, phone number. Um, when you read a phone number like this, it's just hard to keep track of. So it's, it's a lot better and clearer if you have the uh, area code in parentheses. So I'm going to type my first one. Space, I like to space. And then the number. And again, don't have any typos. When I start my next one, done. And it fills them all in. The next one, instead of just their name, I want to actually say the Smith family. And then when I start the next one, I have to actually type more because it's going to be all the Smith family. And I finish the and then space. And as soon as I type the T, I'm done. The next one is more names. In here, I want just the first and last name. So Michael Henley. And when I start Alex, done. This one um, was a tricky one. You can skip it if you'd like, but I just wanted you to take their, um, just their, their first initial, middle initial, and last name, and it gets a little confusing, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. So Michael William Henley, and then when I start the next one, um, it's not doing it. I have to keep doing it. maybe one more. So it's not doing it. So what you could do is select all of them and then choose, um, this is, this one here should be flash fill and then you would do flash fill. And that one looks like it did it, good. Okay, next one is central. So on this one, what happens if you just wanna pull the middle numbers out? Of this ISBN number, so four six four five, and then I just type the nine for the next one, and done. Username, just the first part of it, and then start with the C, done. And then the last one, you can break it down. What happens if you just want the state? So Michigan, Kansas, done. How about if you wanted to pull out just the zip code? Just make sure your first one's always accurate. Just the city, done. And the street name, would it, it, excluding the house number, that one will not work. So Nash Street and then Hill, done. All right, so we have quite a few sheets at the bottom. Very, They're all been renamed and I've added a tab color. 
click the first one, flash fill. Now I'd like to have the header or the footer on every single sheet. So you click the first one, hold shift and click the last one so they all should be the same. Go back to file, print, go to page setup and make sure it's landscape. Then I'll go to margins. I like to have things centered horizontally and vertically. And then header footer, either you wanted header at the top or the bottom. And I usually do the date, my name, your name, and then on the right file name, and then OK, and OK. And I'm going to choose entire workbook, and then it should be all seven pages and your names on all of them. Go ahead and save and submit.